welcome to our Van Life Travel Channel. We're Stephen Audra, and we're currently exploring as much of the state of Florida as possible in our self-converted camper van. We're on a mission to find and share beauty, interesting locations, and a few laughs along the way, all on the lowest budget possible. Today, we're heading to Central Florida to explore another natural Florida treasure that people flock to from all over the world for wildlife viewing. We hope you'll join us for the adventure. Well, this is what a morning in the van can look like. We want to get on the road pretty quickly, so we're having some cereal. We're switching out our ice jugs. This was down in the fridge and started to melt, so I'm going to fill up our water bottles with the water that's melted. I put the frozen one down in the fridge. I'm going to put this one up in the freezer. And as soon as we can, we are going to get on the road. Not a drop was wasted. <laughs> Circle B Reserve is where we're heading out here. You ready to hit the road? Let's do it. Since McDonald's was nice enough to let us use their restroom, I bought some coffee. Probably would have bought the coffee either way, but I figure it's a good treat. Bar Reserve is known as one of the best places to see wildlife in Florida. It's a 1,200 plus acre area of protected lands featuring several distinct ecosystems in Polk County, Florida, midway between Orlando and Tampa. These trees and the Spanish moss are amazing. What are you doing? Just seeing if I can find any alligators in the trees. Have you seen any yet? I don't know about alligators, but these trees are amazing. All right, let's go find some wildlife. People come from all over the world to see wildlife here at Circle B, especially from fall through spring, when nature photographers flock here seeking to capture images of white pelicans, tropical pink spoonbills, laggy sandhill cranes, iconic bald eagles, and dozens of other birds. You're also almost guaranteed to see alligators while you're here. Another great thing about this location is that it's free. Circle B has a series of maintained marked trails of varying lengths. It's a half mile hike to the lake where you're sure to see alligators and other wildlife. Wildlife has the right of way. You hear me? Hey. And welcome to Alligator Alley. Although it might be a little cold to see alligators, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll see at least lots of birds. Circle B is home to the massive alligator nicknamed Humpback, who was featured in a video that went viral in 2017. It's been out here for a few minutes and we've already seen two blue herons, lots of vultures, some cardinals, a cormorant, and an aninga. Alligator Alley is an easy one mile, mostly shaded trail that leads you through an oak canopy to a path bordered by Lake Hancock on one side and Swamp on the other. There's a vulture convention going on. They're just waiting for one of us to keel over. <laughs> They're like, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Don't stop that again. 
figuring out why all these vultures are gathered in this area. That alligator down there is working on something. I don't know what. It looks like a dead deer. Like, it looks like there's a hook, like a leg and a hoof. I absolutely love, love, love this place. I definitely give it five vans. I think for this trip, it's my favorite so far because you've got the lake on one side and then the swamp on the other and this trail in the middle with all these amazing trees, cypress trees. We saw some oak trees with all the Spanish moss. We've seen tons of birds, alligator. It's awesome. you agree? It's a nice little spot, even on a dreary day like today. Yeah. So I'm not great with bird names. This is either a tricolored heron or a little blue heron that we just saw. Steve saw it, didn't even notice. There's a tiny little alligator right next to him. We were very fortunate to have someone point out a family of barred owls just by the parking area. The owls frequent this spot and we were able to get a little footage and photos of these beautiful birds. It's the first time we've seen owls in nature during the day and it was a pretty neat experience. That was awesome, and I think we just beat the rain. It's starting to rain now. So we got pretty fortunate with that. And seeing those owls, very cool. Well, we're back in the van, and it looks like it's lunchtime for everybody. Part of van life and travel is figuring out your itinerary. So it started to sprinkle here a little bit. It looks like it's supposed to rain a lot more now. So we're only about halfway through the day. And now we're going to figure out what to do next. We're not sure yet, but for now we're at least going to enjoy our lunch. So we just got done with lunch and we noticed that this van pulled in in front of us. And this led to a discussion, more of a debate between Audra and I, as to what color this van is. Now, I'm not very artistic minded, as far as colors go anyway, so I'm very basic color palette. I would say that is a dark blue, maybe even a purple. And she says, nope, that's gray. What's your opinion? Let us know below in the comment section. We came back out because it's not raining yet. We're trying another trail, Rabbit Run. They say 
spoonbills and otters can be spotted here. I don't know if the weather conditions are ideal for that or not, but we're gonna see what we can see. The Marsh Rabbit Run Trail is about 0.7 miles and takes you past a shallow marsh where you can often see otters, turtles, and many types of wading birds. We weren't lucky enough to spot any otters or spoonbills this time, but we did have a raccoon sighting, and the little guy seemed completely unaffected by our presence. He looks like a young guy. Well, the rain finally caught up with us. So I think what we're gonna do is head about two hours southeast, see if we can get ahead of the rain and check out another state park in Okeechobee, Florida. So it's four dollars admission admission here, but we have the pass, so I don't know what that what you do when it's like the self-pay thing. Do you feel like you're on a safari? Maybe we'll see some giraffes. It's very dry and it's very prairie and bumpy. So this appears to be a huge park, but not a lot of areas where you can drive. And I don't know that we want to do much hiking here. This may be a flop for us today. Another van lifer. Some crows. So there's a trail. Prairie Loop Trail parking area. So Audra dragged me out. It's all my fault. Here we are, <laughs> middle of nowhere, <laughs> seeing nothing. We're gonna stretch our legs. It's about the only good part. My legs were screaming, so I needed a little bit of a walk anyway. I think I read that this park is 15,000 acres. And it's supposed to be a great place for stargazing because it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So I can see how that would be really cool. And the sunsets and sunrises are supposed to be amazing.
it looks like we just got back in the van in the nick of time. It's raining again. So Steve, is this your favorite park ever? Yeah. This might be the first park that raised some negative on the van scale. I'm just kidding. There's probably some nice things about it. I'm sure the stargazing at night is probably pretty cool. And I'm sure if you're quiet and still enough, you'll see some critters <laughs> roll by. So this road is giving our van build the workout. We are rattling along here. Yeah, I would say this is not my favorite park either. Although I'm sure, oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure if you were here at certain times, it could be a lot better. I'm going to guess the sunrise and sunset is amazing. And I know there are certain animals you can see here, like the caracara, which is one of my favorite birds. But, I don't know, you win some, you lose some. We're not that impressed. We're going to keep moving along. Well, we think that's a wrap for today. Sometimes the weather cooperates, sometimes it doesn't. Despite the somewhat crummy weather, we still got to see some wildlife. And as always, we just enjoyed our time together in the van. If you're one of the three and a half people that have made it to the end of this video, please drop a comment below. Let us know you've been watching. And uh, hit the like and subscribe button, you know the drill. And stick around for our next video, which I'm sure will be amazing. And if you're a half of a person, I'd really like to know about that, so let me know. You've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.